Great. Now, remember we had a second uh, endpoint that was accepting path parameters. Now, this is the client for that particular server. We, we have a client here. You can see the same WebSocket uh, URI that we saw. But this time around, after the namespace, the URI namespace here, we are adding the username. Sorry, we are adding the path param here, as you can see. Let's look at it here. Remember, we had a path parameter of user here. So we have our, our blah, 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 server dot blah, 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 slash connect. This class is hosted here. And then we have a path parameter here. Now, that path param is what we are passing here. This is simply a jQuery object that is returning an input field in our DOM. And then we are getting the value of that input field and passing it as part of this URI. So the rest is essentially the same. We instantiate our WebSocket object here. So we get a hold of it. And then we use it. You can see we have our on message. We have our dot on message dot on open here and all that. So that is essentially what we are doing. We are, we are doing the same thing that we did in our Java server here. This time around, we send a message to the server, and then the server returns the message, and then we just print the message out to the DOM like that. So the DOM will be updating with the messages that we receive from the server. So if you've not done so yet, once again, I highly encourage you to clone the project and play around with the, with the code. There's a lot in it that cannot be explained in the video because that would that would needlessly lengthen the video beyond its necessary scope. So clone the project, play along with the with the sample code. And if there's something you don't understand, I'll be more than happy to explain and shed more light on your difficulty. Just don't hesitate to ask it in the forum and I'll be more than happy to help you. So clone the, the project code, play along with it, and then let's get some fun. So let's move to the next lesson.